This tri-deck super yacht in front of us is a 130-foot Heeson yacht, first delivered in 1987. Now this yacht has an aluminum hull, so she's built to last. She's had refits over the years, with the most recent one being in 2022. And I promise you now, when we step into the main salon, you would never guess that this yacht was first delivered in 87. This yacht is listed for sale by Northrop & Johnson. Like I said, the length is 130 feet, the beam is 25 feet, and it has a draft of 6 feet and 11 inches. Now, as many of you know, Heeson Yachts is a Dutch shipyard, and they have an exceptional reputation and pedigree. You'll see on the back on this fixed slim platform, some of the examples of the toys on board. You have scuba gear, sea bobs, a hydrofoil. And then coming out of the transom, we have this passerelle that extends out. And this will let us get on board extremely easily onto the aft deck. Now you do have some bench seating over here on the left. And then you do have a bar area in the middle with the built-in fridge. And there's also a sink in the bar area. So now we're going to try to stay out of the cruise way, but take a look at this incredible main salon. Like I said, you would never guess the age of when this yacht was first delivered. This is a beautiful main salon. I love the blue and white color scheme. And if we continue forward, we will find the formal dining area. And then right around this corner is where you find the galley. So we're just gonna grab a quick shot of the galley. I don't wanna disturb the chef too much. You have all of your cold storage back here. Thank you, chef. Pleasure, no problem. And you also have some extra refrigerators down here. Now, if we continue forward, you'll see this beautiful main staircase. And you also have the side access door here, so this could act as a main entrance into this foyer area. We have a day head right here. And then the owner suite is on the main level. And that's going to be all the way forward, and it is the full beam of the yacht. You have your desk over here, closet systems on either side, and then you have two different en suites. The first one is right here with this massive jacuzzi tub. You can fit multiple people in here if you want to. You also have the bidet and your toilet, and of course the vanity. And then on the other side, we have the second ensuite, where you have your toilet, the stand-up shower in this one, and of course the vanity. So we're going to head down these stairs, and this will lead us to the other guest cabins. So we'll start with the VIP. This is also the full beam of the ship. You can see your ensuite right over here. This is a really good size. You have a separate tub and a shower for this ensuite.
Then of course you have your closets along the wall here. And you have a little lounging section right over here. So there are two more cabins to check out down here. And then there's one more bonus cabin, which we will see much later on in the tour. And you'll see why in a little bit. But there's one right here. This one has the TV and the desk. And of course, the ensuite. No tub in this one, unfortunately, but you have the rainfall shower, your toilet, and vanity. And then we have one more guest cabin right over here. And this one has two singles. With your ensuite. So behind this door is another way to enter the crew area. We're going to be respectful of the crew. They're all actively working. So we won't be going into their area. I know you love to see the crew area, but sometimes you have to be respectful. Every situation is a little bit different. But if we head up to this upper deck, you'll find Another beautiful lounging area. This is the Sky Lounge. You have the large TV up on the wall. You have a sink and a little catering area right over here. And before we head out onto the bridge aft deck, let's check out the bridge. And I love the paint in here. It's almost like that stealth gray type of color. You can see the captain has his office area. And then here are all of your super yacht controls. You have four large monitors laid in right here. You have a chart plotting station on the far side. You have your electrical panel. And then you do have side access doors out onto these decks and the captain's cabin is connected to the bridge. So that's always great for his situational awareness. It's important that he's always ready to be up by the bridge. And I'm also noticing you have a ship monitoring system right here. You can see your fire alarm. All the different areas of the yacht are laid out in different sections. All right, enough of the bridge. Let's head back to this bridge aft deck. And these are power doors, just like downstairs. Now right out here we have this beautiful teak table, perfect for an outdoor meal. You have some loungers over here. And then a more casual seating area towards the back of this deck. And this deck is honestly extremely massive. You could do so much with this space. So you could customize this however you wanted to. And then because this is the furthest point aft, we'll do a quick look over the back of the yacht. We have a Palmer Johnson Sport Yacht to our right. And a bunch of other listings with Northrop & Johnson right next to us. This is their booth at Flibs. But if we keep moving forward... Here you can see the wine fridge and another refrigerator. 
and you have your stairs up to the sun deck. And this isn't a massive sun deck, however, the space is used in a really smart way. You have your hot tub right in the middle. You have a huge sun pad after that. And seating that wraps all the way around this area in addition to a second helm station. So this can give the captain a great vantage point when you are docking this vessel. Excuse me. Thank you. So to get all the way up to the bow, we actually have to head downstairs because if we went forward on this deck, we would just end up on the Portuguese bridge with nowhere to go. But we can head up this side deck. And if you're enjoying this Heeson Yacht Tour, this is a classic, but obviously it's a great one. If you're enjoying, make sure you leave a like on the video. And also, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a future upload. And up here we have some toy storage. You'll see there's two different sea -Doo's with the crane right in the middle. And like I said, up here we just have the Portuguese bridge with nowhere to go. I'd also love to hear in the comment section down below what you think of the refit in the main salon. Tell me if that blue and white style is something you like. And now you'll see we're back in this main salon. We'll give you one more look in here. And I told you earlier, there's one more cabin that we have to see, but we're going to see it much later. And that's because if we head down this staircase, this will lead us to another cabin as well as the engines. So. Here you'll see there's a double bed right over here. You also have a single bed and a Pullman berth. So whether this is going to be for the kids or you just need to pack a bunch of people into this room, you can certainly do so in here. And there is an ensuite right here with the stand-up shower. So this is where you get to max capacity of 12 guests. Now a couple more areas down here. Let's see if we can get into them. First, there is this control room. So you can see there is a workshop right here. You have all of these generator controls in your monitoring systems. Here is the engine room. That was incredibly smooth to open. You have tons of headroom in this engine room. It's really well lit. Like I said, it's an aluminum hull. This yacht is going to last an extremely long time. You can see your generators on each side of this engine room. Also, I'm noticing it's honestly not that hot in here. It actually is quite comfortable. Many engine rooms, there'll be AC outside of it, and then you come inside and you're just instantly sweating. But this is a lovely engine room. And as you'll see, you have two different engines. These are CAT engines. They're C32 Acer engines, 1800 horsepower each. 
Now these were installed in 2012 with a full rebuild in 2020. So these engines have tons of life left. Your top speed is around 20 knots. You can cruise at 12 knots. And if you want to travel the world in this vessel, you can certainly do so because at 10 knots, you have a range of 4,000 nautical miles. Close this up behind us. And then, like I said, the crew is actively working, so I'm not gonna disturb them, but in this room, you have a full laundry room, so you can do all your ironing in here, all your laundry, it's taken care of in this utility room. Just because I love it so much, let's do one last look at the main salon. There are some clients that are heading on board. So we're going to get out of their way. And I think we'll do the outro up on or up in the Sky Lounge. This is kind of perfect timing. So thank you to Northrop and Johnson for granting me access on board. This is a beautiful Heeson listing. The next owner is going to be extremely happy with it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. Comment down below what your favorite part of the yacht was. And we will catch you next time.